guys, thanks. Welcome back. Thanks for tuning in to the previous segment, which was upper body flexibility with the foam roller. Second segment of our flexibility program is uh, lower body flexibility with the foam roller. This breaks down into five basic movements. I'm gonna teach each movement, then I'm gonna show you a little video where I put them all together so you can see how they work as a combination. All right, here we go. First movement in lower body flexibility with the foam roller is we just kind of roll on the foam roller. So the foam roller is perpendicular to your spine, and you're really just trying to loosen up those rib muscles, the spinal erecta, the lumbar, the traps, the rhomboid. All of those muscles, nice and loose, just kind of getting them used to moving, right? So we want to loosen up the spine just a little bit. Once the spine is loose, roll that foam roll right under your lumbar. And then you just go limp, right? That's ultimately what you're going to do. Now, you may not be able to get there immediately, but eventually you're going to want to work up to this position, right? So you want to be able to surrender to the stretch. Yes, it's going to be uncomfortable, but can you surrender your body and your mind to go beyond the discomfort. That's really what we're trying to figure out. Can you find a way to surrender yourself to the stretch so that your mind and body can go beyond the discomfort, right? So what we're doing here is we're opening up all these ab muscles, the rib cages, the uh, serratus anterior, the rectus abdominis, the obliques, the transverse abdominis, all these muscles work so as major, so as minor, you're opening up this whole rib cage with this. You're gonna take that perpendicular foam roller, and you're gonna turn it 45 degrees. You're gonna bring one hip down. My left hip's gonna go down onto the foam roller, my right leg's gonna go over the top, and my right arm is gonna reach opposite side of my right foot. Try and open up that whole bolt to the your glutes, your lumbar, Flip it around, do the same thing. Turn your foam roller 45 degrees the other way. Right hip on the foam roller, left leg over the top, left arm reaching back. Stretch number four in lower body flexibility with the foam roller. What you're gonna do is you're gonna get back to this position, but this time you're gonna bring your feet over the top of your head. Fully elongate your hamstrings. Do not tighten your abs, but bring your toes over the top of your head and touch behind your head. Loosen up that lumbar. Keep your abs nice and loose, but make sure those hamstrings are fully, fully elongated. Open up those glutes, the hamstrings, and the lower back. The idea here is once you've mastered this technique, you'll be able to put both your knees on the side of your head. Mastering this technique means both your knees on both sides of your head. Once you've done that, you've mastered stretch number four in lower body flexibility with the foam. All right, guys, fifth and final stretch in lower body flexibility with the foam roller. When I'm working out with weights, when I'm doing my resistance program, which you'll see in the coming episodes, I do what's called a push-pull technique. If I'm gonna push something, I'm going to immediately strengthen the other side by pulling. Well, that principle carries over into our flexibility as well. If I'm going to be nice and loose on one side, I've got to follow it right up and be nice and loose on the other side. So we just have, in movement number four, our feet over the top of our head, stretching out our lumbar. Well, the opposite muscles are right here on top, our abs. So our follow-up movement, our fifth movement, and our lower body flexibility with the foam roller is going to open up our quads, the whole front side of our body, the abs and the chest. What you're going to do is you're going to take your foam roller and have your knees positioned right by your butt. You want your butt squeezing over. You want those knees to be able to touch the ground. Ultimately, this is where you want to get. You want to be able to have your knees on the ground. Pinch that foam roller right up to the base of your feet so that your head and shoulders can also touch the ground. This right here is your master technique. If your head, your elbows, and your shoulders, along with your knees, can touch the ground, you've mastered technique number five in lower body flexibility with the foam roll. Okay guys, you've just seen all five individual moves for lower body with the foam roller. 
What we're going to do is we're going to put them all together so you can see how they work as a combo. Here we go. First movement, roll that back out. Second movement, foam roller under the lumbar, open up those abs. Third movement, 45 degree foam roller, one leg over the top, same side arm reaching opposite. Switch it around. 45 degrees, opposite leg over, same side arm, reaching opposite. And number four, foam roller, under the hips, under the lumbar, feet up, over the top. Make sure the hamstring, nice and elongated, nice elongated hamstring. Knees to the side of the head, back to center. Move number five, opposite movement. Open up the front of the body, knees to the deck. Foam roller touching the feet so that the head, the elbows, and the shoulders can all touch the ground. And what I do as a little cherry on top is I just boom, use those abs to get up those abs to get up. And that is our first two techniques on flexibility. Using the foam roller upper body, using the foam roller lower body. Now we're going to jump into our final two techniques for flexibility. It's the same thing, upper body without the foam roller, lower body without the foam roller. Stay tuned because I got some interesting stretches to show you.